I'm telling you, if you're if you're watching this, it's not about KSG. It's not about our holster. Right. It's about helping people understand what what a quality holster should be. Right. We're in Shot Show 2023 in the Concealed Carry Ink booth. Going to be taking a look at all the cool brands they represent. So let's go. What's up, crew? It's Chris with CloverTac. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, we're going to bring in Jacob here. Get in here, buddy. How are you? Good, my man. How is the first the first SHOT Show as an exhibitor, right? Intimidating. Exhibiting. <laughs> it's, a lot, it's a lot going on. Exhibiting. We, we've been here about a decade, but first year exhibiting, yeah. it's a whole different game. Um, I hear you. A lot of work, I'm sure. A lot of work, a lot of money. A lot of work. But hopefully, in the end. Hey, we love SHOT Show. Love our people. Good to be here. Yeah. So you guys represent a lot of a lot of different things. Obviously, concealed carry podcast is a big thing. Check it out. But you guys represent a lot of brands. Some of them are yours, some of them are not. But either way, a lot of cool products. A lot going on. What are we gonna start with? What are we gonna start with? Uh, maybe we'll work our way from one side to the other. So Mount Man Medical is a great brand. We do a lot with Mount Man Medical. Uh, it's something we started from scratch in 2020, right before the COVID drama. Sure. Shocker, right? So. What we like about Mountain Medical is that our, our whole shtick, our thing is, let's use name brand proven components, no reinventing the wheel, we're not making our own tourniquet and our own gauze, like no, nah, everything, you know, North American Rescue, TACMED, H&H, &H, Safeguard, Combat Medical, stuff that's proven, we know it works, TCCC recommended, but put it in a kit and make it cheaper. We just felt like everything was so expensive on the marketplace because we have so much going on, Right. we can afford to take a, a smaller margin than some of the competitors, and that's what we're all about. Awesome. Yeah, and the kits range in size. It looks like oh yeah, yeah, tiny so, to huge. Yeah, this this is a pretty big kit. We got one down here in a big uh, like pelican style case. Yeah, in price, I mean, you could be as low as fifty bucks and up to a thousand bucks. Nice, very yeah. cool. To yeah, cover, depending on your needs, to cover pretty much everything. Now, Absolutely. Do you guys have customizable options with them at all? So a lot of the dealers and companies we work with, they're customizing their own kits as far as what they're putting in their stores, what they're selling. We're actually getting really close. I would say in the next month or two rolling out a build your own IFAC thing. Oh, nice. So you'll be able to go to the site, click on build my own, and say, oh, I want this tourniquet, that gauze, this hemostatic gauze, that kind of thing. Uh, so that's getting really close. Like it's all technically working. We just need to build some video into it right. so that people can have some guidance as they go through it. Uh, right. So that's that's almost ready. Well, and that's another thing that uh, we've talked to you about before is, you know, with all the products, you guys, the concealed carry brand is really heavy in the training, yes. especially in the online space. Yeah. So if you, you, we got somebody out there that's not familiar with certain products, certain things, how to use them, what they might be looking for, what they might not be looking for, yeah. the website's going to have it all, right? Absolutely. And in the case of medical, on, on mountmatmedical.com, we give away a free video training course. Nice. Because the nice thing, I mean, it's different different than shooting. The thing that makes medical so much different is the skills are not complicated. They're not difficult. I mean, you can spend a lifetime trying to be a good shooter, but it takes you about two hours with some good, decent training to be pretty proficient at emergency medical. Right. We're not trying to make people doctors. We're trying to give them 12-year-old Boy Scout skills. Sure. And yeah. so it's not complicated. So it, it tends to be very easy to acquire the, the right medical skills. Uh, the problem is whether or not you got the gear with you. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, moving on here, we got barrel block, of course. Safety devices, always uh, an important thing to have around. Yeah, we love barrel block. Uh, this is a brand that's not ours originally, but we did buy it, so it's ours now. Uh, and barrel block's really important because it's all about preventing negligent discharge, but it's also about encouraging actual training. Right. Right. We want people to train, but we don't want people to have accidents in their home. So barrel block is just a simple, non-complicated piece of plastic that installs in the gun. I mean, there's nothing complicated. It's just plastic. Right. It just happens to be the right shape, and we put a patent on it, right? Right. So it's just a piece of plastic that you just lock right down in here in the ejection port, shove it in the gun. Bolt comes forward. You see it sticking out the end. You can trim this to a desired length. And now we know the gun is safe. Right. The, the number one customer for these is police police agencies. They can't afford the liability of bringing in a new academy full of recruits and having an, an ND right in the, in the training room. Right. So they barrel block up all the guns, and that way they can teach these recruits how to manipulate the gun, how to load the gun, right. how to shoot the gun, and you get actual functionality. You can press the trigger. You can rack the slide. The mag is, It comes with these mag blocks so that you can prevent the follower from locking the slide. It's simple. It's just a very simple solution to allow for safe and effective dry fire. Right. Cool. Yeah. And a variety of calories, obviously, yes. available. 389, 4045, 387 SIG, and 556. Wow. Yeah, and that's a long one there. Yeah, that's a beast. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, you guys were playing with this one earlier. 
the uh, the shot timer, man. Range Tech. The, this uh, cheapest, this one's the labor of love. The cheapest or the most budget. I won't say it's cheap because that denotes that it's cheaply built. It's all built it's, right it's, here. It's the, the most economically right? available. So shot yeah, timer. there you go. Yeah, no, these we make these right now ourselves by hand. Uh, that's why I say it's a labor of love, <laughs> right? <laughs> but personally, personally, I'm telling you, yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, every time I look at one of these, I get a little bit of PTSD. Right. I'm joking, but it's it's a labor of love. But yeah, the the thing that makes this unique is Range Tech was the first shot timer uh, that was Bluetooth enabled, so connected directly to a to a, an app that you download for free on your tablet, on your phone, whatever. Pulling all the data, it's about making it easier to seize things. I mean, Range Tech is really a brand that's focused on. Let's help people improve by giving them the correct data. Right. So you can save the information. You can tag pictures of your targets. You can review it later on the computer. It, it's all about being able to manipulate, look at the data, tag it, and look and look at improvement over time. Right. And we're at, this is a prototype. Yeah, they told me that the other day yeah, when, I, that when I just stopped by the booth. They said, hey, uh, the shop timer is getting an upgrade. And yeah. man, is it ever. That's awesome. Oh, it's going to be great. It's gonna, now going to have an onboard screen. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive than the original model. Sure. Uh, our hope. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to say, I, I'll, I'll, I, I said, I have to say it now. So we're hoping to land this about 125 bucks. Okay. So it'll still be basically the cheapest shot timer on the market, right. a little bit more expensive than our original. But you'd be able to use it with the onboard screen or in conjunction with Ooh, well, yeah. the tablet. So this is probably a Q2 or Q3 launch. We're about to get prototypes in our hands. So depending on how well those test out, we could go to production very soon, or we might say, Oh, uh, this ain't working. We got to go back to the drawing board. Now so. going to the, those are those going to be hand built by you guys? Or? No, this will be they'll be made in the U.S. Uh, okay. An operation in Colorado that we're partnering okay. with. Okay, great. So professionally made, but here in the U.S. Well, I'll save you guys a lot of time. You can oh, focus on other things. It's going to be a blessing for sure. <laughs> right? It's going to be very nice. And what do we? What do we got from here? I guess ready, ready up, up right gear. Here. Yeah. So ready up gear is in some ways is like a catch all brand for us. It's all of our kind of range gear. Uh, you know, a lot of EDC items, things like that. Uh, this is where our dummy ammo is. We have the best dummy ammo in the business. Right. Uh, because it's actual brass shell casings. It is, yeah. uh, But it's a completely filled in polymer, including the primer cup. So you have a surface for the firing pin to strike. Yeah. If you're worried about damage to the gun or something like that, then our dummy ammo is going to get that done, and it's going to feed perfectly because it's brass. Right. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's once fired brass. It's made to feed. Yeah. 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 The Glock e trainer is a product that we've been successful with over the years. It's a dry fire tool. It just allows for you know repeated trigger presses without having to rack the slide. Uh -huh. Uh, our laser dot is, is very comparable to other similar products on the market. And nothing particularly rocket science about that one, but we sell them at a very competitive price. Our batteries probably don't get enough notice. We don't get enough people talking about our batteries because they're just, people might think it's just a battery, right? But like this, this is the 16340. You use this to replace your uh, CR123As and your tactical flashlight. Right. But there's two cool things about it. One, charging ports right on the battery. Whoa. No more fancy chargers. No more buying some old thing that you got to plug into the wall. Whoa. You plug this thing right in. There we go. That Check it out. Awesome. That's the charging port. So and it, it lights up when it's charging. If it, you know it's flashing, and then when it goes solid, you know it's fully charged. Right. But these also put out 3.7 volts, whereas your normal CR123A battery puts out three volts. Right. So you're getting more lumens. More. You're pushing your flashlight further. Probably about 15 percent brighter. Yeah. When using this versus the CR138, and it's rechargeable. Yeah. So no more buying two dollar batteries and chucking them. You buy this, it'll it'll last 500, 800 cycles. Wow. That's yeah. Cool. So pretty pretty amazing. That's cool. And so we have the CR123As, we have 18650s, then double A's and triple A's. All all of them, you know, with the same onboard charging part. Right. This, believe it or not, is one of our top selling products. This is the ear clip. You have one of these, Chris? Uh, I do not, but I don't use uh, I don't use the muff style. Yeah, so people love these because it just get you know people you know the drill, Where do right? You put them right. Yeah, like people are Mickey Mouse in this. That's what I call it. Now, this is the Mickey Mouse move. Like right. check it, Mickey Mouse. Or let me see them. They can, well, they can't see, but and people put them around the leg. Thing. Yeah, all the time. But where does that end up? On the ground. In, on the ground in the dirt, right? <laughs> so this is just a magnetic enclosure that's flexible. So you can put this on your belt, slide this in, good to go. Oh, I didn't realize and it one handed you get it out. I didn't realize it was magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetic. It is though. That's the genius behind it. Because if it weren't magnetic, then the problem is you're gonna put this in and it gets stuck it open or out. something like that, it pops out. Yeah. It's a simple magnet. Man, we we sell an ungodly number of these. People love this thing. Right. It is amazing. Like I'm kinda shocked. Like the, kinda like the barrel block. Just a simple solution. It's one of those things, yeah. Like, it's like yeah. And, and, and I would say this is one of those things like uh, you didn't know you needed it. Right. Once you have it, you're like, oh, yeah, i got to have it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No kidding. So and then we sell uh, saw seals. We love the saw seals. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, ear pad upgrade. So this is a standard pad that normally comes on your earmuffs. Right. 
This is the soft seal. It's a gel infused insert. It's just an upgrade. You add it to your existing earmuffs. We have them for all the walkers, Howard lights, Peltor earmuffs. And I tell you, it is night and day. We, we used to have this one in the booth with one of each. So people can put it on and feel the difference. Feel the difference. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, that's yeah. that's. And especially if you wear those for any length of time. Oh, right? sure. I mean, a couple hours, no big deal. But you're on the range for eight hours. Right. Yeah. You're hating your life. Yeah. Uh, so these soft seals make a big difference. We have cleaning kits, the earmuffs themselves that we manufacture and sell. Down here below, you probably can't see it, but we got a bunch of different Molly pouches. Right. You know, simple you know, kind of stuff. And, and people like these. They use them for all sorts of different things. Sure. Yeah, that's ready up gear. Awesome. And then yeah. we've got uh, we got holsters, man. KSG. So this this is also a labor of love, but we acquired KSG just this last year. Uh, we we knew we needed a holster brand. We you know we're concealedcarry.com, right? And we sold we've sold over a hundred thousand holsters of other companies right. in our in our time as a business. Yeah. We thought we need our own holster that we really feel good about. So we made a short list of brands that were doing a bang up job. That we thought these are guys that are they're checking all the boxes of what a holster should be. It was right. a short list. And we started calling them and saying, hey, we want to buy your company. And this is the one that was interested. Nice. So we were able to acquire KSG. We're very proud of it. We're very, very proud of this brand. Uh, on the back, we have this thing we call the design revolution or the design guarantee. And it talks about all the things in this holster, all the boxes it checks. Right. And we do that because I'm telling you, if you're, if you're watching this, it's not about KSG. It's not about our holster. Right. It's about helping people understand what, what a quality holster should be. Right, yeah. Right? How do we protect the trigger guard? Yeah. How do we make it so you can still get a grip? How do we manage ride height and can adjustability? So we really feel like we're putting out uh, one of the best products on the market at an affordable price. Right. Uh, we're very proud of KSG. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we got the flagship. Yeah, the flagship. Yeah, I mean, concealedcarry.com is kind of an interesting brand because it's not really a product brand. <laughs> right. It's an information and training brand. Uh, but we do have some, some concealedcarry.com products. The Target's probably the top selling product these days. We sell a ton of these. It's just got a lot of different uh, target points, options, shapes, yeah. and numbers. And it's, you're just going to use it a lot more than you would before you have to throw it away. Right. Uh, we have a lot of online courses. Some of those are available in DVD form. I know it's weird. Some of you guys are watching saying, I don't even got a DVD player anymore. But we people buy DVDs. I'm yeah, telling you, people like DVDs. There's a reason there's a $3 bin at Walmart still. You got right. it. Yeah. So we're, we're, you know, people like those. But they're all available. You can stream them. Uh, so, yeah, that's a little bit about the consumecarry.com as far as products go. But awesome. more of an informational brand for us. Awesome. Well, uh, Jacob, thanks for walking us to the yeah. product. All good, man. And, uh, Appreciate it. Thanks you. for watching out there and uh, taking a look at everything these guys have to offer. Again, first, you're exhibiting at Woo. SHOT Show. So look forward to see uh, what these guys do in the future. Uh, this one is done. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, don't forget to change fire freedom. <laughs> thanks, everyone.